Welcome to the Planet Pearl YouTube channel. Hope you are all doing well. Today I thought I will come on here and show you what knitting notions I carry in my notions pouch. I have a few. This one is my main pouch and then I have one just for sock knitting in this box and and I have a few more as well I have this little pouch and then a little box and um, another little box and another little box I will show you the contents of this box first so it is a vintage box I purchased online and I love it I don't take it outside with me but whenever I'm knitting socks this is the one I reach out for so um, inside this box I have my eyeglasses cleaner wiper what will you call it because my eyeglasses are always getting dirty and so I need these to wipe and then I have um, hand lotion this is from Tuft Woolen um, it's a hand balm hand and body balm um, and it's lavender and it smells so good um, I love this one and then I have a tape measure that's from Merchant Ten Mills. It has both inches and um, centimeters. Of course, I use inches. And then I have a darning needle case. And inside I have two needles. And it's very handy because it screws up nice and tight and I can keep them safely and then I have this little mini tool with kitchener stitch on it and it has a little um, chain that I I think you can hang it somewhere if you want but um, I won't lose it anywhere so I have that um, when I'm finishing up my socks and then I have a repair hook that's that has a hook on both sides and it is um, a 3mm hook so um, the same size as the DPNs I use so yeah if you can see it so that's the repair hook I have I also have nail file that's made of cardboard and then I have this little trinket box that I also got online and it has all my stitch markers and progress creepers inside I really like that it has a little padlock kind of thing on it and sits really nicely in here as well so black scissor from Merchant and Mills so that's my sock knitting kit that I have and like I said I don't take this out at all I just keep it at home I love the scenery so nice this is my main notions pouch I love changing my pouches but the contents pretty much remain the same I love the print on this pouch which looks like cross stitch or is it fair eye pattern I'm not sure but I love the pattern my son chose it for me when he went to wool feast this year it's a nice little pouch lined with orange fabric um, matching orange zipper and this really cute zipper pull it's a sheep and i love it so um, it's soft and squishy inside 
we have um, the logos shoebox Sally and um, I'm a big fan of shoebox Sally I've seen her vending at yarn festivals and purchased from her before but I'm not sure if she has an online store I don't think she does but um, I have like I said I have purchased from her before and I have used it as my notions pouch and I still have it too but um, yeah I like to change my notions pouch um, and my project bags so yeah I also need to show you this little pin I got from a company called Erst Wilder from their cozy things collection I do have a few other enamel pins but this is the only one I have on here I might add more later on but this is called short stout and something yeah it's so cute I love it oh and it is from their collection called cozy things and um, it's a granny square cozy I used to teach how to crochet a granny square when I worked at Outlaw so so this is like a little bit of a sentimental thing for me so I have that there so what do we have in here I have quite a lot of stuff as you can see and as I change my pouches I change all of these things and put them in there as well so the first thing is called swatch me and it is a row and stitch cage that's made locally here by a company called Doyston Shed and that's how it looks it's really neat I like this and then I have my gauge ruler that is from twig and horn I think it's a six inch um, it's a six inch ruler and it has all these needle sizes here I have never used it but I like to have it here because it's convenient to measure with this um, scale as well and then I have a little pouch of stitch markers that I got from a store online. I can't remember which one, but yeah, it's, it's these ones. They're really handy to count. And then I have a repair hook. It's, it's a 5.5 size repair hook and it has like a, um, what's this called? A knitting thing and a hook on the side so that's one and then I have a highlighting highlighter tape this was actually a gift from my co-worker when I worked in Outlaw her name is Katie and she makes the most amazing stuff and she had gone to a yarn festival and she got it for me from there so that's a highlighter tape and it's very handy uh, when I'm working from a pattern and I'm going to stop I put a little bit of this tape and that's the reason it has stayed with me for so long just a little bit of um, this highlighter tape there and it shows me where I stopped so yeah uh, highlighting highlighter tape and then I have a little chibi um, container but it has a lot of um, darning needles a lot actually there's different kinds there's incisors there's um, bent needles thin ones big ones medium ones all sorts of stuff so yeah I have those and because this is a screw top of 
because it is a screw top it's nice and secure inside so I like that so that's another one and then this is a row counter I don't for some reason um, don't like the ones that click I like I prefer this one and I have a bunch of these lying around here and there so that is that is a row counter that I have um, emery board to nail file as we all know filing nails and all those rough spots that happen to come and then a tape measure from Merchant and Mills I have quite a lot of these lying around and then I have a little bottle of bulb stitch markers and they are pink pink and black there's quite a lot in there so it's kind of stuck but you can see I have quite a few these are my favorite um, stitch markers and pink is one of my favorite colors and I have this this bottle was in one of our um, advent calendars as a extra and yeah and it has like a bulb stitch marker on it so yes I really love it and I have hand and body balm uh, from Tough Toolins and this scent is black tea and bergamot which I use quite a lot as well it's really nice it's a handy and I often um, put it on my hand like that and I don't share this one because I use it directly on my hands and then I have this little repair hook and it is size 3 5 and um, four very handy to use so that is that and then I have these stitch holders there's another smaller one I think it's some, lying around somewhere these were ones that I got um, in Kuwait and this one I found in a box of vintage um, craft supplies so yeah those are all my stitch holders and then I have these big pins I have no idea why but I keep them in case of emergency I have a post-it note pink of course a uh, nail clipper my nails um, are very brittle and they break a lot so and when I'm making something a nail breaks if you if you see my nails they're really small and um, not very good looking <laughs> I refuse to call them ugly because they're my hands and they he help me make stuff so they're not very good looking but they are fine but they break when I'm working and I have a little nail clipper to clip them off when um, it's causing trouble and then I have a little uh, tin with tons of stitch markers 
and progress creepers and um, stuff like that it's really pretty 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 ones that, um, but I need to show you this one my son drew this penguin a long long time back I think he must have been four or something and um, I kept that picture with me and then I gave this picture to Doylston Shed to make it into a stitch marker for me and they did. He used to call it Pingono. Yeah, Pingono or something like that. And it was this um, little thing so I made it into a stitch marker. So yeah, that's, that is, um, I have a few of that and I have sent people uh, these ones as well and then I have tons of uh, this is I'm not sure what how to use this one but it's pretty so I have it and then I have these ones I love these ones the charms um, sometimes they do pull the wool when I'm walking but I like having them they're so cute and they make the knitting experience so much more fun so I love having them um, yeah so many so many pretty things in there and then I have a bread clip now they don't make these plastic ones they used to make these um, wait this is from February 2018 I still have it I used to have uh, a lot of these around and I use them to hold um, I wind the long tail cast on um, yarn on them the extra ones and they just don't get in the way they hang they're like little bobbins wool bobbins so they're really good and I have just one now with me I don't know where the rest went so that's my little tin and then I have scissor with a little cap in there too. It's quite sharp. It's from Merchant and Mills, and it's got it's their gold fine work scissors. So yeah, I have that. And I found this one in one of the supply boxes as well. And I have not used it at all, and I don't know for what it is used, but I have it because it's cute. And this is a barber cord. I got this as part of a um, kit and I'm, I have it with me because I want to try and use it. And then um, glass cleaner, happy to make notes. This is from Tulip and I love it. It's pink and it's a rosebud. And these are... Um, little rubber stoppers too. so those are the things in my notions pouch I will lay it out for you to have a look so the other few um, knitting notions that I have are in these cases so this is called a nut case <laughs> and i love a pun and this was given to us with cash nuts in them when we were flying from chennai to to Tukurin on our last trip back so i got a giggle out of the name nutcase and i wanted to have it with me and so inside this i have a few more notions very basic ones um i have the top woolen and balm in chai spice and then I have a little snip and this is with a cover and this is a really really sharp one um, this was a gift from my co-worker again Katie and it's really really cute and I love it and then a tape measure from coconuts it has both um, inches and meters 
centimeters I think um, I only use inches so yeah it's a retractable metal kind of thing and I have that and then glasses cleaner wiper and then I have tube with cork lid with tanning needles I have three sizes two big and one small those are in there and then I have one cable needle I just remembered that I don't have any cable needle in this pouch which I need to remedy I need to add some cable needles in there I just remember that anyway I have this cable needle and this repair handy tool with a hook on one side and a knitting needle on another side and this is another tin that I got in my advent um, getting through the day one stitch at a time I love that and then I have a few stitch markers um, this one this little penguno and that is just what's inside this little notions pouch not pouch sorry inside this notions tin and it all fits in so nicely and I can close them and throw it into my project bag and take it with me this is another notions box I have tons of stitch markers in here this is a basic one as well um, a retractable measuring tape that I got long long back in Kuwait as this lobster clasp but I've never used that and then I have a repair hook and my kohuna snips they are super sharp so really pretty and um, one darning needle and then an assortment of stitch markers um, yeah so this is just like a spare one but I like Beatrix Porter and um, so I, I got this box this box is a gift from my son and so I had to fill that up as well and it has this uh, cute retractable measuring tape with inches and centimeters and it's um, Sue Bonnet I think I'm not sure but it's cute and it's pink and a little teeny tiny glass wiper and uh, another little cute snip this is super sharp as well and so pretty and ornate I love it and then I have a bunch of bulb stitch markers in here uh, and I have two cable needles here I probably should put one inside oh, sorry about the noise I probably should put one of these in here or somewhere inside this one maybe not but and a repair hook and these are stitch markers my son made uh, no progress keepers my son made for me so that is one and this is another one that he made isn't it cute I love that so yeah so that's my oh I forgot to show you this this is this is um, this is a tulip brand darning needle and it has an assortment of needles in here and what's special about it is that it's magnetic and it has magnet here and here and it closes so nicely and also it won't fall down so you can just put it really uh, 
nicely inside and all the metal stuff will hang on to it and yeah so that is another notions box i have and then lastly i have this little pouch with another box in it so as you can see i love little tins and pouches and notions so i have quite a lot and i don't think i will ever need to get oh look at that it's so cute i love that and um, i don't need to get any more but i might still i don't know another merchant and mills measuring tape another row counting thing uh scissor oh how it works it's really cute i think it is from one of those mindful knitting collection from knit pro i have a few more stitch markers when i was a little girl we went to a place called velankani with i went with my parents to a place called velankani and my dad actually got me a hair clip with a little pineapple in it and I have loved this little pineapple ever since. I've lost that clip long back. It was like I must have been in my sixth year or seven years old. I can't remember, but I quite vividly remember that little pineapple clip and this was the exact pineapple on it. And so I had to get this little um, stitch marker. And this is a stitch marker that my friend Carmen made me. I'm not sure if it is clear, but it says pollen on there. Not sure. See it? So, so that's what's in this little pouch. And each time I have several projects going on, I put each little one into each project bag and use them quite a bit of stuff here but I love them oh. if you have any suggestions of what I can add into my um, notions pouch please comment below and let me know if I have missed something and something that would be really helpful in our knitting journey thank you so much for watching until I see you in my next video take care and Happy crafting. Bye.